Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use TLSS for Upscaler in conjunction with FSR Fame Generation in Hellblade Part 1 and 2. Part 1 only supports TLSS Upscaler, does not support any frame generation technique, so I'll be using OptiScaler FSR Frame Generation. Whereas Part 2 supports TLSS Frame Generation, so I'll simply use Nukem 9's mod to replace the in-game TLSS Frame Generation implementation with FSR Frame Generation. Nukem 9's mod will also enable Nvidia Reflex which will help in cutting down the latency. I'll kick things off with Hellblade Part 2. It's a psychological horror action adventure game that focuses on Senua's struggle with psychosis. Set in 9th century Iceland, drawing inspiration from Norse mythology and culture. The game is built using Unreal Engine 5. It's very heavy on the GPU. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. Before showing you the mod setup process, would like to thank Keymailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from first party Microsoft Studio and even third party studios are available on PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. In order to get Nukem 9 mod working properly in this game, we need to disable the black bars from the top and the bottom sides. Also need to disable a few post processing effects. In order to achieve this, I'll be tweaking the game's engine.ini file. Open C drive. Open users folder. Open the folder whose name is the same as your PC's username. Open app data folder. If this folder is not visible on your PC, click on view here. Go to show. Check this option hidden items. Open local folder. In this directory, look for a folder name Hellblade 2. There it is. Open it. Open saved folder. Open config folder. Open WinGTK folder. Now open engine.ini file. This is the game's configuration file. Scroll down to the end and add these lines. I'll provide them in the description of the video. Basically, we need to create a system settings section. These lines disable. Depth of field, chromatic aberration, lens distortion effect, the black bars from the top and bottom sides, film grain nil, file save, close. Need to set the render preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of TLSS4. I'll be verifying these details using TLSS debug overlay. I'll show you how to enable this overlay. Copy the registry code provided by Emos. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save. Close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, replace the number 4 here with 0 like this. Click on file. Click on save. Close and run this registry file. I'll just revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click, open. Yes, ok. I'll be using build 0.130, universal version of Nukem 9's mod, can be downloaded for free from Nexus mods. Just need to have a free Nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Then click on slow download, the download will start. Open the mods archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy these two DLL files, DLSS G2FSR3 AMD is better in version. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Open your PC Game Pass library. Select the game, click on the three dots here. Click on manage, click on files, click on browse. Open the game's install folder. There it is, Hellblade 2. Open content folder. Open Hellblade 2 folder. Open binaries folder, WinGTK folder. Paste the mod files here. Now you need to make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings. Click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings. Check this setting, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3 settings, click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Hellblade 2. Scroll down to the end, enable vSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync here and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display and check this setting. I'll use Nvidia app to override DLSS subscaler to the latest version. Game comes with DLSS subscaler version 3.5. Open Nvidia app. Click on graphics here. Click 
click on the three dots click on refresh it will load up all of the games that are installed on your pc from this list look for hellblade 2 there it is scroll down to the end click on the pencil icon next to dlss override model presets check this option use different settings for each dlss technology click on the drop down bar below super resolution and select latest i have already done it click on apply we are ready to run the game we are in i'll be testing the game on my pc that has an rtx 2070 super gpu and a ryzen 5700x 3d processor first go to accessibility settings and disable motion blur from here set its trend to nil i have set the resolution to full hd dlss upscaler enabled frame generation setting disable for the time being we have access to it this means Nukem 9's mod is working. Description. Here it's mentioned that frame generation will only work on RTX 40 series of GPUs. It's DLSS frame generation. Using the upscaler's quality preset. Sharpness disable. Very important. Sharpness level nil. VSync off. NVIDIA reflex on. Variable rate shading off. I'm using the medium preset. Yeah, we are in. There's Senva. As you can see, no black bars are present at the top and at the bottom sides of the display. So, uh, engine.inet tweaks work. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is K. Version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Yeah, this is DLSS 4 and its transformer model has been activated. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. DLSS auto exposure setting is on as well. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. FPS here is within a range of 50 to 60. Okay, now I'll enable Nukem 9's mod. Open the in-game settings. Set frame generation to on back to the game yeah i can observe the add amount of smoothness nukem 9's mod is working very nicely there's barely any hard elements in the game subtitles are not flickering dlss debug overlay is flickering as expected it's not a part of the game's interface after verifying the upscaler's details just disable the overlay via the registry file that we created earlier this is a cutscene frame generation works even during cutscenes skipped it this is a very demanding sequence need to run fps with frame generation is close to 90 game is still running smoothly though reflex is doing a very good job of managing the latency keeping it in check so much destruction highly recommend you to use nukem 9's mod in this game it's not very aim intensive now I'll be testing Hellblade part 1. We'll be using the Daria build of OptiScaler version 0.7.7 preview 9 can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler's GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the dot 7 z link here. Hellblade 1 comes with a very old version of TLSS Upscaler. I think it's version 2.2 and we cannot override the Upscaler via NVIDIA app. So I'll be manually updating the Upscaler. We'll download the latest version of DLSS Upscaler from Tech Power Ops website at the time of recording this video. It's version 310.3.0 uploaded just yesterday. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers. Download will start. I'll install OptiScaler. Open its archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Three of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. I'll be running the Steam version of Hellblade. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open Hellblade game folder, open binaries folder, open win64 folder, paste the files here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. Hit enter, open optiscaler.ini, from here just set dx12 upscaler to dlss and set fg type to opti fg click on file here click on save close now i'll manually update tlss upscaler open the upscaler's archive file copy this dll file nvngx underscore dlss open the game's install directory i'll show you where to paste this file open engine folder open binaries folder open third party folder 
open NVIDIA folder, open NGX folder, open Win64 folder. Here yeah, there is the DLSS upscaler file version 2.3. Replace it with the latest version. Check the version 310.3.0.0. Now make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. Otherwise, OptiScaler's hotfix won't work properly. I'll just use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. We are ready to run the game. I have enabled VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Even this game is set in a dark fantasy world inspired by Norse mythology. We play as Senwa, a picked warrior who must make her way to Helheim by defeating otherworldly entities and facing their challenges in order to rescue the soul of her dead lover from the goddess Hela. In game settings, full HD resolution. I have set the post processing setting to low, rest of the setting set to very high. We sync off, ray tracing medium. Make sure game is running in DirectX 12 mode, otherwise OptiScaler FSR frame generation won't work. DLSS Subscaler enabled. I haven't tested this latest version of TLSS Subscaler yet. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is K, version of the Subscaler 310.3.0. DLSS Auto Exposure setting is on. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Everything is working properly. Here yeah, FPS is close to 110. This game uses Unreal Engine 4. Image quality is looking very sharp, clean. There can be a few hitches here and there. Traverses, stutters. See? Okay, I'll just enable OptiScale FSR frame generation now. Open the mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Check this setting FG active. Check this setting FG hotfix. Limit value set to 1. FG allow async setting enabled as well. Quickly show you the debug view. Verify that frame generation is working properly. No head elements are visible in the bottom middle image. This game barely has any head. But I'll show you the subtitles to verify that flickering is not happening. Displays are working properly for all of the images. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect should work properly. Disable the debug view. Click on save Anna. Mod settings will be saved even after restarting the game. Your yeah, FPS increased to around 180. Game is running so smoothly. DLSS debug all is flickering as expected. Not a part of the game's interface. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Combat time. Even here the game is running smoothly. I'll quickly take out this creature. Try to parry its attack. There you go. Latency is not an issue as the base appears is on the higher side. Just need to press the left control key right before our enemy's attack is about to land. Staggered it. Another one. That barrel blocked my view. Not a problem though. No end to these things. Look at that GPU utilization 100%. Another one. Hopefully, this is the last NPC. Standard it. I'll be honest, Hellblade Part 2 stutters less than Hellblade Part 1. Yeah, you can see the subtitles here. They are not flickering. This means OptiScaler hotfix is working properly. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Need to edit the registry file that we created earlier. Open with notepad. Just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file. Click on save. Close. Run this file. Click on yes. Okay. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.